This lesson is adapted from the tales of Tendali's grandmother's collection of stories set in Zimbabwe about the animals of Africa by Lakshmi Mugundin. I would like to ask you something here. Have you ever felt sad when your efforts do not end up successfully? For example, you worked very hard for your exam, but you do not get the expected back or you failed. Do you sit down and brood over what happened? Have you ever pondered how you should use your own strength to be successful the next time? Be smart like Pangolin. Discover and use your own strength. Let's go through the lesson very carefully. Tendai was helping his grandmother to cook lunch outdoors. He was waiting early to eat the last sadas, that is maize grain, and stew when on their small radio they heard the news bulletin. One news item about some African farmers who had caught a scaly anteater in their farmyards. They travelled in a group and presented it to the president of Zimbabwe as a token of respect. The president then sent the creature to the national park where it was safely released into his natural world once more. Grandmother told Tendai that scaly anteaters were never harmed because they were symbols of good luck. While they sat eating their lunch, she narrated to Tendai an amusing anteater tale. Pangolin. Now, Pangolin is another name for the scaly anteater. It breaks the mud with its long claws, darts its long sticky tongue deep into the feast and feast on ants and termites. If threatened, the pangolin will quickly roll up into a scaly ball, wait till the danger passes by. Okay, so that's about pangolin. Pangolin, a scaly anteater, once lived near the Limpopo River, which flows at the border between Zimbabwe and its southern neighbor, South Africa. Pangolin and the little Dassey, an African rat, were friends and together exploded the bush and tried to find interesting ways to challenge each other with the new games and races. They had a lot of fun together. Dassey would like to take his friend to visit his colony and Pangolin admired the intricate barrows and network of pathways made by them between the rocks. Now Dassey is an African rat. It's also called a rock rabbit because it lives and breeds among the rocks. A noisy and sociable animal, the Dassey feeds on grasses and plants. On one of Pangolin's visits, Dassey had observed that it was difficult for his heavy friend to climb up and down among the rocks and pathways. He himself was small, sleek, and able to run along easily. One day, he had a splendid idea. He decided to ask Pangolin to race against him down 
one of the path. He smiled in a wily smile to himself because he quite felt sure that he wouldn't win. He called out to his friend, I have a good idea for a new race. Let us climb to the top of Kopji and run down the path that goes straight down. The one who can reach the level ground first will be the winner. The pangolin cheerfully agreed since he loved to complete, compete whether he won or lost. Together they climbed to the very top of Koppai. Dasi's beady eye shone eagerly as he drew a line in the clay at the beginning of the path. They took positions at the starting line, counted to three and set off. Running as fast as they could, little Dasi was soon ahead because he was the most familiar path for him. He could also run faster than Pangolin who had to carry all his heavy clattering scales along. When they reached the level ground, Dasi was the winner. Pangolin came up puffing and panting but happily hailed Dasi as the winner. The two friends then had a good laugh together over the days past. The next day, Pangolin returned to his visit to his friend Dasi and challenged him to a downhill race again. Pangolin agreed. This time, the scaly one had a special gleam in his eyes which Dasi did not notice. After the count, they started racing down the slope to the ground. Dasi ran as fast as his leg could carry him. Suddenly, he wondered what was that was rolling past him quickly. He was over overtaken by a scaly ball swept swiftly down the slope. He reached the plane along before he did, quite unheard by the bums along the way. Dasi could hardly believe his eyes. He was very confused about what he did not understand what had happened. He reached the finishing point and then watched the ball unroll itself. Pangolin seated himself and got on all four again. He laughed delightedly as he carefully smoothed his scales back in place with the long claws. Dasi looked at him all in amazement and asked, how do you ever think of doing such a clever and unusual thing? The scaly anteater explained, after I lost the race yesterday, I remembered my father's advice. He used to say, there is more than one way to do a thing. Last night, I thought very hard and realized that even if I could not run as fast as you, maybe I could curl up, roll down faster. As you can see, the new idea worked very well and I am the winner of the day. You like the story? The very interesting story, isn't it? In the lesson, Antita and Dasi, there are a few difficult words we need to understand so that we may understand the lesson better. Okay? So the, here are the meanings. First one is intricate, complicated. Intricated meaning very complicated. Very difficult task. Observed, noted. You observed, you noted. Sleek, 
having a shiny healthy coat that is sleek we say this normally for a dog you can say my dog has got a nice sleek coat okay having having a shiny healthy coat okay a shiny coat splendid wonderful when you do a good job when you get full mark the teacher will say wow splendid that was wonderful wonderful wily cunning who is that cunning fox you know cunning puffing panting breathless when you puff after running you'll say no panting panting is breathlessness breathless 